The two journalists were arrested on December the 12th. They'd been covering the crisis in Rakhine State, where hundreds of thousands of Rohingya Muslims have fled a crackdown by the Myanmar military. 31-year-old Wa Lone and Chul So U, 27, are accused of being given classified documents by two policemen. Prosecutors have charged them under the country's Official Secrets Act, which carries a maximum sentence of 14 years in jail. This is unacceptable. I want to tell you that they are charging us like this to stop us finding the truth. Their actions are wrong and unfair. Myanmar is facing heavy international criticism over its treatment of the Rohingya. The latest crackdown was sparked after a Rohingya rebel group attacked police posts, killing a number of policemen in August. Rights groups say the Myanmar army killed nearly 7,000 men, women and children in the following few weeks. And more than 650,000 Rohingya have fled into neighbouring Bangladesh, with the UN accusing Myanmar of ethnic cleansing. The government has denied any wrongdoing, but refused any independent investigation and banned journalists from going to Rakhine State. We are protesting today about the two journalists because we have permission to do this. We are here because, as you heard, Wai Lone shouted from the police car, asking us to support him. The case has cast a spotlight on Myanmar's difficult transition to democracy after nearly five decades of military rule. Analysts say it illustrates deteriorating press freedom. And a number of cases against journalists have focused attention on the civilian government of Nobel Prize winner Aung San Suu Kyi. Her administration shares power with an army that still controls all security policy and other key levers of government, but she has not personally denounced the action of the army in Rakhine. Japan's foreign minister is expected to raise the case when he visits Myanmar on January the 11th. The Japanese government has conveyed its concern about this matter to the government of Myanmar. Freedom of speech, basic human rights and the rule of law are immutable common values shared by the international community and it is important for all nations to safeguard these values. The two reporters had been working for the Reuters news agency. They will turn to the court on January the 23rd for legal arguments when lawyers will decide whether to accept the case under a legal system described as having changed little since colonial times. Reuters insist its reporters are innocent. Their families have suggested they were set up. Amnesty International, the US and the European Union have all called for their release. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.